right, so that was a little patch I built that started as a question, which was, if I have a single sequence, is there a way to use two quantizers to send different notes of that sequence to two different voices in two different effects chains? And um, what I found out was yes. So I have one sequence coming from the Zoomai, um, which is like an eight track, eight pattern sequencer with lots of options. I'm only using one track of it though. Um, I'm sending it to two different quantizers. One of them is just a major scale here, and another one is a major triad. And what's happening here is I'm sending them to this logic module by Tiny Tricks, which is comparing the two, and I'm using the A equals B output to control whether this VCA is open, which allows the quantized voltage per octave sequence to go through onto the oscillators. Um, and there's two different ones because one of them is um, handling the triggers and the other one is handling the voltage per octave. Um, this one is just getting, this first oscillator is just getting voltage per octave straight from the first quantizer. And then this one is getting the filtered quantizer and this is a pretty interesting idea that can go in a bunch of different ways. Um, this is especially interesting for performance too. Like if, if you have like a keyboard controller and you're doing a crazy solo and you want for some reason just the root notes when you hit them to hit this very long reverb or something, um, you can do that. You can filter out notes with quantizers and logic modules to uh, achieve this effect. And then from here, I just added um, delay, which is only um, getting applied to the second oscillator, which is the triad, and reverb, which is getting applied to the whole mix. And um, each voice has a filter. I'm using stages here as two envelope generators for the oscillators, as well as uh, two LFOs that are controlling the filter. And then I have two more LFOs up here, which are controlling the feedback of this delay and um, some of the morph parameters and the timbre parameters on my two oscillators. And there's just a clock running into this pattern. It is pretty simple, but uh, it was a new approach to patching for me, starting with a question or an idea, is this possible? And then um, going from there, uh, I think really this idea can, can go so many ways that it's hard to notice in this patch. I could have uh, put one together that highlights it more it kind of reminds me of the trick of taking a sequencer, putting it into a sample and hold to only sample certain notes from the sequence and then creating a baseline from that, except it's determined by notes rather than picking when to sample from the sequence, which makes it more responsive to what's happening in the sequence. Like you can play this live and it'll always play just these notes. Um, so it's an interesting way to filter them out. It makes me wonder if there should be a quantizer module that can do this for you, but you know, if it works like this, then it's not that necessary, but I thought it was a cool trick nonetheless. Um, yeah, subscribe for more VT. <laughs>